Hay, dilibat, tumahimik ka. Pariho ka na sa paling sa opisina. I'm not an obstructionist. Uh, ang nakikita lang kasi nila, you know, like this issue. Siyempre, alam nila na I'm, I'm against death penalty and then uh, definitely I'm against extrajudicial and summary killings. Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin ko kontra na ako sa lahat na magiging hakbang sa lahat na plano ng kasalukuyan administration. Marami rin naman na mga susuportahan ko. You want examples? Yes, FOI. You know, you, FOI. And then of course, the creation of that super body to investigate media killings. Although meron na yan during the time of, uh, of President Aquino, yung AO35 Interagency Committee. And it's good that this administration is also forming its own super body on that. And then yung mga anti-red tape, uh, uh, yung, yung uh, well of course in, 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 in addressing, to address, how to address the, uh, the uh, traffic uh, situation, the traffic crisis, although titingnan ko na muna kung yung paano kalang emergency, you know, the, 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 the uh, bill granting emergency powers to the president would be acceptable. Depende ho yan sa, sa parameters of, 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 that, uh, of that bill as to emergency powers kasi hindi naman mo basta-basta binibigay ang emergency powers. Uh, yung mga, you know, the, the resumption of peace talks. The uh, going after the Abu Sayyaf. Marami naman mo tayong sinusuportahan. Kaya nga, one of my objectives in pushing for the Senate inquiry into the state of drug killings is how to be able to help Ang pinaka target namin ng mga kontrabando would be drugs, drug paraphernalia, cash, and firearms and ammunitions, lalo na firearms and ammunitions. Inulit ko po sa kanila, o sinabi ko po sa kanila, na dyan na alarma ang Pangulo. At ang instruction talaga ng Pangulo, alamin ng gusto saan nang galing yung firearms na yan. Bakit nakapasok yan? At hanapin pa yung mga ibang firearms na baka nga meron pa. Well, siya po started during her time. Siya ang magbantay sa akin. <laughs> May access ako ngayon sa lahat ng documents why she started late. Hay, dilibat, tumahimik ka. Pareho ka na sa paling sa opisina. Well, ay, ibabalik ko din sa kanila yung ano. May kaso na ba sa kanya? Meron ba siyang ginahawakan na kaso? Para i-dependahan niya o dipensahan niya ang PNP? I wouldn't know. I, I would not want to speculate on that. I wouldn't know. Uh, Ma'am, uh, do you see any uh, reasons parang this early meron ng uncertainty or to dissuade you from conducting the investigation into summary killings? Well, yan ang pinagkakataka ko. Why is, why is there such a reaction? As I said, if they're confident na above board lahat dyan, sinusunod yung mga dapat sundin, mga patakaran, batas, lalo na yung saligang batas. Bakit ganyan ang reaction nila? Ma'am, yung sa past... But I will not be intimidated. I will still push for my proposal to conduct Senate inquiry unless i-overrule ako ng karamihan ng aking mga colleagues. Ano magagawa ko? Ma'am, may tinatang... Kung kung alimbawa... You know, they will overrule me. Wala kayo nakitang, ano? I will investigate you. Then I will file charges against you. Ano ka man? Hay, dilibat, tumahimik ka. Name and shame tag uh, adopted by our president has both a plus and a minus, no? On one hand, it demonstrates yung kanyang seriousness Yung determination niya to really stomp out 
criminality and corruption, especially official corruption, corruption within the PNP ranks, between and among the uh, you know PNP officials. Mm -hmm. So that's the plus. On the other hand, siempre, may violation jan and due process. There's there's still a presumption of uh, innocence, mm. and 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 therefore they're entitled to be heard. They should not be subjected to trial by trial by public. Hey, delibat to mahe meka. Ayan ang sabi niya. So you investigate them? Uh, may mga witnesses kasi kami noon sa CHR. Na iba ang sinasabi. Tapos itong witness din na ngayon na nasa WPP. Ganon din ang sinasabi. Siya ang tinuturo. Na nasa likod niyan. It's definitely wrong. It's definitely wrong. It's not just, mo you know, it's not just the human rights aspect of it all. But it's the law. You don't just kill. I find it disturbing. Now, right here in the halls of Senate, he would openly make such statements. Hindi na ba natin, hindi na ba natin madidistinguish kung ano yung tama? Pato, hindi nila kami dinidiktahan. Alam namin kung kailan kami magfa-file ng kaso. Ayaw namin ura-urada lang. Hindi naman po kami gano'n na dahil hot na hot yung issue, uh, magpapasikat kami, magfa-file ng Ng kaso. I find those statements of his, at the very least, annoying and definitely disturbing. I mean, uh, ano bang klaseng mga statements yan? Katawa-tawa tayo sa international human rights community. Kung sasang-ayunan ho natin yung ganyang pananaw, katawa-tawa talaga tayo as a society. And, you know, international organizations like uh, Human Rights Watch, uh, they take these things seriously. Pero tayo, ano tayo, yung iba sa atin natutuwa pa, uh, lalong ina-idolize si Mayor Duterte because of that kind of a stance. But is that right? Hindi po tama yun. Nag-execute na siya ng affidavit. I cannot disclose to you kung exactly kung ano yung contents ng affidavit pero napakaseryoso pong mga aligasyon. So lahat po yan ay uh, binavalidate ng NBI, nagka-case build up ang NBI. You accuse me of extrajudicial killings. Criminal. Secretary ka, meron tayong sagutan noon, sinabi ko sa iyo, Look at your own backyard, especially Munting Lupa. By sheer neglect, culpable neglect, wala kang ginawa. Only recently, ni-raid mo ngayon lang. <coughs> you built a Hilton Hotel right in Munting Lupa. You allowed it. I told you, look at your own backyard. I will make sure that you will have to account for it. Kasi criminal neglect, anak ka ng... Nandiyan, pumapasok ang priso, lumalabas, may druga, kinuluto sa loob. And you have the goal to, to accuse me of extrajudicial, puro criminal. So ikaw, you fatten them, pina, pinatambok na mo ang kriminal sa loob. Yan ang mahirap eh. eh inumpisahan mo eh. Set up siya, walang trabaho. Ano bang nagawa ng DOJ until now? I said, they're still trying to, they're agonizing to establish what the name if you are there for a long time and you have not served smuggling until now and yearly we lost seven million that is a crime and that is criminal negligence on their part diba sinabi ko na sa iyo nag-usap tayo noon hindi ako ganun ma'am ang i-address you as ma'am although mas nauna ako sa eskwilahan natin sa iyo ni ma'am ma'am kita eh sagasaan kita Sinagasaan mo ako na sa power ka, sasagasaan kita. You better stay there, DOJ, until the end of time. At your own brack of there is a more serious crime being committed every day. Yung lumalabas ng preso, nag-hold up, nagkikidnap, tapos bumabalik dyan sa munting lupa. Yung mayayaman na lumalabas dyan, binabayaran. Ngayon, magtanong ako, kasali ka ba doon sa pera? Bakit nakakalabas at nakakapasok? Bakit nakakapasok yung mga babae? Bakit nakakapasok yung magagandang pagkain? Bakit nakakapasok yung baril? Bakit sila nakakaluto ng siyabo dyan? So, you answer for that to the nation. 
ayaw ko simula ngayon sa lahat na may bababa dito na smuggled goods. Sabi ko, pagbabarilin ko kayo. <laughs> 